Okay, so how the hell do we get around this problem? Okay. Pretty simply, to be absolutely honest. Because what we're going to do is we're going to pop in a couple more trade depots. So I'm going to just bang in a road across here. Okay, so we've now got double the uh, the trade depots. Now that means we're going to have double the amount of resources coming in and we've got double the amount of delivery trucks to actually deliver to these factories. Now, should we need to do this? No, we shouldn't. This is a bug, it, you know, <laughs> and it, it really needs to get fixed. Um, does it mean that we are spending uh, more money than we need to and therefore getting less profit than we should get because we're you know we're wasting these resources look at these resources just dropping um, the answer is yes okay um, does it actually matter no and by the time we get to the end of this city you'll realize why it doesn't matter um, now this is half the solution we will still get the odd outage but don't worry we're gonna fix that as well right let's go back to we'll stop worrying about that for the for the time being and we'll go back to Omega and we'll go back to the Omega map now our four factories are going gr great guns um, supplying to our industry and we've already got our industry up to 66 percent fabulous and that's bringing in profits currently of like 42,000 per hour wonderful uh, and once the once this has run for a while um, assuming that we're supplying them fully all of these factories uh, will be a hundred percent Omega now so we've that's industry okay so what about commercial well let's have a look and commercial has already started to be converted now what happens is the um, the factories are shipping freight okay but if they're an omega factory they ship omega enhanced freight to commercial and commercial goes through the same thing so here's here's one and you can see the progress bar and once it receives enough Omega enhanced freight, but it's freight from here. It's not Omega. This is freight from an Omega owned or Omega franchised factory. Okay. Once they get enough freight, they convert to uh, an, a franchise and they start paying a franchise fee to us. Uh, or to Omega we should say to Omega okay so let's take a look at the commercial okay so we're getting franchise profits from this little one down here of 512 per hour okay now you can see that these are thinner than this one this is this is a fatter one so this one's obviously going to be giving us more profit uh, no it's identical 512 uh, any medium density commercial building will give you the same doesn't matter how fat it is right and it's exactly the same with residential uh, some of these buildings are wider but they'll give you the same profit and therefore it's kind of difficult to give an exact comparison between medium density and high density okay but what I can tell you is that the profits from high density are considerably less than from medium okay um, low is very low low density I mean from a low density building you'll get like uh, maybe a hundred profit from a medium density you'll get uh, around 500 and then from uh, a high density it'll be like um, maybe 650 700 so you're gonna get around around double the
the profits from medium density that you would get from high. So that's why we do this as medium density and not as high density. Okay, now, because these are being converted by the delivery of freight from our industrial factories, this is why it's important, if I go to the detail, this is why it's important for us to be fulfilling 100% of our freight orders. And we've still got that 66, so we're still waiting for uh, a couple of these factories to actually increase to, uh, to medium density. And I may need to, uh, I may actually need to shuffle these up. Now, it, do you remember right at the beginning of this process, we did the, um, these roads of 1400? Right, that's because 1400 means you can fit in exactly seven medium density factories. It's like precisely, boom. Okay, so th it's a bit of a pain to pack them in this tightly um, because they, they love to space themselves out like this. Um, but a bit of perseverance and you can do it. And you don't need that. You, you don't actually need them to be like a hundred percent. But uh, if you can, excellent. Okay. Right. So let's look at um, industrial versus commercial because I've seen on the forums people going on about, oh, industry gives the most profits, or commercial gives the most profits, or industrial and commercial. Um, Bear in mind that, because pe people look at this number, right, this, this profit per hour number, and they look at this number, which is our, uh, our city profit per hour, right? Yes, they give you an indication of how much you're getting in, right? But you've got to look at your monthly number, okay? And if we look at this, now we were making, before we started this process, we were making about 900,000, right? Right now, and we're, we've converted 96% of industrial and 76% of commercial, right? And we're making just over a million, okay? Now why is that? Well, because we're spending so much on uh, ore and crude oil, um, to keep up with this stupid bug, right? So, like, right now, we're kind of not really making any profit. Well, this is horrendous. Ah, you know, what's the point doing this? Ah, well, we need to go to the third step in the chain, okay, which is residential, because it's residential that where the, is where the money's at when it comes to uh, Omega, okay? Right. Let's get rid of this clinic. We don't want that there because we've put in those two big hotels, uh, hotels, uh, those two big hospitals. Although, I mean, they, they are a bit like hotels. Um, yeah, absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. I think if we, if we check, we're probably at um, uh, two deaths a day. You always seem to get deaths. It, it kind of doesn't matter what you do. You always get some deaths. But, um, you know, up to like, well, probably around the, like, 20 or 30 deaths a day, you can, you can actually live with that. But, um, but we'll, we'll get to that. Okay, so, to get to the next step, to start su supplying residential, uh, we need to put in um, robotics factories to supply drones okay and the way we do that first we need to put in the Omega Co HQ and one of the reasons that I wanted to uh, get rid of the uh, the town hall from down here was to have room to put this in so there we go and boom already we've got an upgrade available now if you if you put in um, Omega like right from like as you're growing the city, um, you'll need to put in like one factory, and as long as you've positioned it correctly and you've got enough uh, industry, you'll get that unlock 
very, very easily. Using importing, right? A lot of people struggle because they're trying to mine and drill and what, and you've got that whole hassle. Like, forget that. This is, this is only interested in gross profits, okay? So, you know, it's looking at this number. It doesn't care about the like, like the, the net profits. Did you mine it yourself or did you import it? Okay, so just go for importing. Okay, so um, we need to take the the upgrade before we can put one of these in. So let's do that. Boom. And now the first thing that you're going to put in is the robotics division. Okay. Now you'll see people going for. Um, extraction because you know they think they're going to make more money by extracting the the ore and uh, the ore and the oil god I, I wish they called them different things um uh, you're not okay i'll tell you now you're not so go for robotics and now we're going to start to put in some robotics factories okay now we have space for one two three four five six robotics factories and guess what we're going to be filling all of those so i'm just going to put i'm going to pause this because i want to show you what happens um but let's put these in now the drones that are produced by these factories okay need to go to residential Okay, so ideally we want them placed with easy access to get to the various different road systems that we've got to allow them to get to the residential nice and quickly. So this one, for example, I'm going to put on, on this side. Okay, so that the drones come out onto this road and they're straight off down to the residential. Demolish the uh, the factory module. Oh, drone assembly line not approved. That's because let's run that for a second. And now, oh come on! Come on, unlock. Okay, now we've got the unlock. That's because um, that was my fault. <laughs> I wasn't looking what I was doing. I put in the extraction rather than the robotics. Um, but I got it fixed eventually. Right, so let's put four of these in. Now, I want to show you um, how these work. So I'm going to put in, because these things need uh, processors. They turn, uh, they turn crates of processors into drones. So we need another trade depot providing us with processors. Crank this up. I, I, you know, I got to say, I love watching all this happen. So, come on, come on, where's our processors? Oh, have I set it to import? Because that really helps. There we go. Now, as you can see, processors are expensive. So, if um, if you're doing this as like as you go along, as you're building the city, make sure that you've got a, like a couple of million. Um, like at least a million um, uh, as a cash buffer before you put this in because um, like you're instantly going to get like four deliveries so that's 400,000 and then they're going to be shipped out instantly so then you're going to get more delivered so you know it, it's easy for you to spend um, you know easily like seven or eight hundred thousand before you even see any return uh, in terms of extra profits, so just be careful of that. Okay, so I'm gonna 
slightly step. Okay, and there's our first drone.